Good day, fellow air gunners. So today we're going into the finer detail about competition pallets. And I don't proclaim to be the expert on this. I'm just giving you my opinion. So please don't crucify me for this. But today I'm going to shoot a couple of different pallets, starting with the Barracuda matches. Now I know I did this in a previous video. The difference for today is going to be that I'm going to shoot them in different sizes, different head sizes. So I've got the 4.52, the 4.51s, I've got the 4.0s into all in Barracuda match. I'm going to shoot them through three different guns. And I know my 1HW is a little bit pallet fussy, so hopefully I'll get the, the pallet or the head size that is perfect for that little gun because I need that gun for competition purposes. Once I'm done with the Barracuda matches, I'm going to repeat that exercise with the field trophies, also in 4.52, 4.51 and 4.50. This will be quite interesting for me. I'm looking forward to this exercise because I'm, I'm, I am currently searching for the best palette for my guns. If I've got time, I'm going to shoot a second video um, comparing the Air Arm de Hablos these are the 10.3 grainers. I'm going to compare them with the JSB Exact, also in 10.34. And then I'm also going to shoot the 8.44 JSBs, but in head sizes 4.53 and 4.52 on the back of the tin. All right, so that's going to be my exercise today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sure as hell know I am so curious to see if there's a massive difference between head sizes and the different guns that I'm shooting with. Let's get into this. All right, so first up is the Barracuda matches. Now you'll see this is slightly different than a normal Diablos that you're used to. It's got a more pointy head to it and looking in, looking interesting. Looking forward to shooting them. First up, the Barracuda matches, HW1, and we're going to shoot them um, seven uh, shots per target to give you guys a good indication of grouping and what it does at the end of the day. And these are the 4.5 zeros. Next up, 4.51s. Last one in the HW1 series, and this is the 4.52s. Right, that was interesting some of them opened up a little bit more some of them a little bit tighter I had a look at the chronograph I couldn't see a massive difference in speed between them so the final say will be in the measurement which I will do just now next up I'm gonna shoot with the HW2 the second one in the row and that is the one that's a little bit more pallet fussy so let's go and measure up and we can carry on there was quite a couple of interesting things to note out of this experiment first and foremost the different head sizes secondly the different speeds that the gun shot the different head sizes and then obviously looking for the best grouping within these different head sizes why is head size so important because every gun is different every gun will shoot a different pallet at a different speed and you need to find the optimal pallet for your specific gun so in this scenario one of the conclusions i can make is that the gun is extremely sensitive to the different speeds and the reasoning for for that is the harmonics of the gun so it might be that the 4.50s and the 4.52s are better harmonically out of the barrel than just the mere head size that we're looking at but in this first instance the best groups were with the 4.50 in the barracuda match 10.65 grainers looking forward to what the next result will show us all right time for hw number two we're starting off again with the barracuda matches in 4.50 right um, important to note I cleaned the barrel early this morning so that first seven shots was just basically letting the barrel again um, and you can see it was all over the place first one very low and then all over the place um, they are shooting slightly to the right so I had to compensate on the bottom target 
to get it as close to the zero as possible and a much much better grouping. Over to the 4.51s. Not the best I've seen, but I know this gun is pellet fussy. Alright, not nearly as tight as the HW1, but that's different barrels for you with different pellets. Let's go and measure up. The best single grouping was at the 4.51s, I discarded one shot, but looking at the overall picture, the 4.50s grouped better again. There was also just a small difference in speed between this, but there's a massive difference between the HW1 and the HW2 speed, which has a lot to do with harmonics as well. Overall, not too shabby, I think these pellets are almost, almost competition quality. Right, time for the air arms to shine and this is in the 4.50. Well, that's not bad grouping. Um, I think the one or two that looks like flyers, that's probably me behind it. Um, time to measure up. So that concludes the Hunter H&N in the Barracuda matches in 4.50, 4.51 and 4.52. I'll give the measurements and then I'll compare which head size performed the best out of which gun. Quite interesting to note that smaller head size doesn't mean the pellet goes faster out of the barrel. If you look at 669 feet a second with a 4.50 versus 695 with a 4.51. Quite interesting. But this was immaculate groupings right through the box except for the top right one. I do think these pellets are competition ready. I would shoot them out of this gun any, any day. Let's quickly look at the final results. The Air Arms HFT 500 loved the 4.50s with the best grouping there of 7mm. Going over to the HW1, it also liked the 4.50s with a best grouping of 6.9mm. And then, finally, the HW2, the weird one, the odd one, and that one had a brilliant grouping with the 4.51s at 9.9mm, but overall still preferred the 4.5s. Well, there we have it. In the Barracuda match, the 4.50s reigned supreme in all three guns. It would be quite interesting to see what the field target trophies does. The actual head size can be seen on the back of the tin. Nice big print on the old tins. The new ones are slightly smaller and more difficult to read, but it can be found there. I hope this baby is competition for the JSB. Right, it's time for the field target trophies. I'm going to start off with HW1 again, and these are the 4.5 zeros. 14 shots. Heck of a lot of fun. Let's go. Just by the way, these guys are 8.64 grain. The matches were 10.65. So it's the old difference between heavies and lights. Now, 
For some people they'll call that boring shooting because you're hitting the same spot over and over. But that's exactly what we want to see with these guys. We want to see super grouping. And for the first time we have a clear decisive winner. The A4.52 out shown the 4.51s and 4.50s. Looks like the HW1 is falling in love with this badge. That grouping I'll take to competition any any day. All right, let's go over to HW2. Right, on to HW2, field target trophy, 4.50. All right, so that's a lot better out of this gun. Hmm. Time to go and measure up, give you guys the results. Woohoo! The HW2 found some love, finally. With some accurate and great groupings right through the box from 4.50 all the way to 4.52, but the most exceptional groupings were found in the 4.52s. With the best grouping at 7.4 millimeters, this is right up there. I think we've got a love match coming up. And now over to the Air Arms. It's time to bring the Beauty and the Beast together. Air Arms HFT 500, field target trophies, 8.64 grain. Let's go. Alright, so that concludes that. Time to measure up and put all of these uh, different pallet types and guns together and against each other and see which one grew best where. Love it. Oh my greatness. The air arms just keeps on surprising me with some excellent groupings in the 4.51s as well as the 4.52s. It was extremely difficult for me to to make up my mind at the end of the day but I think that grouping on 4.51 of 8.1 millimeter that's gonna be the best one for the air arms so looking at this one the air arms is the only one that bucked the trend it loves the 4.51s more than the 4.5s too again showing how guns can be so different with different battles different speeds different ammo all right time for our final conclusion and then we'll wrap up the Air Arms HFT 500 preferred the 4.51s above the 4.52s with some excellent groupings in both. It did not like the 4.50s at all. The HW1 on the other side shot decent groups across the board but with some significant better groupings in the 4.52 category. And then over to the HW2. The HW2 loved all the all of them, the 4.50s, the 4.51s and the 4.52s with the most accurate groupings in 4.52. Just shows you, two of them prefers the 4.52 and the one loves the 4.51. But overall, my HW2 just loves these H&Ns. Final thoughts guys, I can't make up my mind yet. So. I'm going to take them out to the 50 meter range and test them a little bit more. Watch out for the next video. That's all, folks.